A new advanced technique has been discovered which enables you to buffer the use of any aerial or grounded attack other than dash attack whilst you are holding an item. The buffered item hold attack technique was discovered by Tonut, who presented the tech on an accidental discovery in the Rob Discord. Like I said, a certain input allows you to buffer attacks whilst holding an item so that you do not throw it. In this video, I'll be explaining how to perform this and its various applications as every character in the game can use this universal technique. The input requirements are simple standalone, but get harder as you try to string more actions together. Before I explain the inputs, I'm just quickly going to make everyone's life a bit easier by first stating my control scheme so that you understand why I'm able to do this so easily. I essentially play almost default controls with the exceptions that I have both my L trigger and Y button set to grab. For this trick, a grab button is required. Therefore, instead of showing everything with the Y button, I have created this grab logo to make it a bit easier to understand. Additionally, although I Z drop projectiles with my L trigger, I will still showcase any Z drop input as the Z button for easier reading of the inputs. Now let's get started, shall we? The easiest item hold buffer is done from a spot dodge into jab. These are the inputs. Spot dodge and during the animation press grab and the A button at the same time. Release the grab button instantly but hold the A button and it should continuously jab. Throughout the video the buttons within the brackets should be assumed to be pressed at the same time. You can do the grab buffer input almost as early as you want. For instance, Rob's Nair is a very slow aerial attack and so I can Z drop Nair and tap grab and the A button literally at the beginning of the move and release grab straight away whilst holding the A button and jab will still come out. Performing buffered tilt attacks are the same idea with the addition of an analog input at the same time as the grab and A button. You do not have to hold down on the analog stick. It is up to your personal preference whether or not you wish to. However, be careful with how you input your analog as doing it too fast will give you an unwarranted smash attack like in a normal situation. Alternatively, you can use C stick for this technique but I personally do not find it comfortable so I choose to not do so. The difficulty increases significantly as you try to do two buffer down tilts in a row as holding the A button will not work here. As soon as you see the first down tilt come out you must tap and release grab whilst holding A again very quickly as down tilt is quite a fast move. If you are too slow, your character will toss the item. A good way to practice multiple item hold buffers as any character is to spawn a Mr. Saturn on training mode and buffer a charged forward smash multiple times as these are slow and give you a much larger window to practice. Use faster moves as you get more comfortable and eventually you'll be doing faster buffers like with the Toon Link example. This pretty much sums up the how to perform segment of the video. Next, we will explore some of the best ways to apply this technique for certain characters but with an obvious focus towards Rob because I main him and do not main other characters like Peach who arguably benefits the most from this technique. But first, let's talk about combos. 
Using buffered item hold attacks, some characters will be able to extend their combo game in interesting ways. Unfortunately, I can only show a few ideas because I don't main these characters. It's up to you guys to head into training mode to fiddle around with what moves may link into each other using this technique, and then try to get these links in real matches. Sometimes I feel like the faster buffered attack chains feel somewhat similar to multi shining with melee fox, because I find myself sliding from Y to A quite quickly, instead of Y to B like in melee. Although honestly, specifically for Rob, this technique is not all that great combo wise. His gyro nair, gyro fair, gyro zone or drag down combos are way better damage wise and so pretty much invalidate this tech. However, this leads on to the next section in terms of using buffered item holes to apply unexpected shield pressure or catching your opponent off guard. For example, in this clip I was able to use a buffered down tilt out of my ledge get up while holding the gyro to stop my opponent's attack. Or here, I was able to get a buffered forward tilt out of nair to catch opponent off guard but he was patient. I am already trying to incorporate these tricks in my play, like with this buffered forward smash, to try and surprise my opponent because I'm still holding gyro and this shouldn't be possible. Or how about these buffered down smashes I'm getting out of my rolls? My opponent will need to keep on his guard at all times because despite holding gyro, I'm still smash attacking. And well, that's about all I can explain about buffered item hold attacks for now. Once again, thank you Tonut for a great discovery. Also to everyone who's watching this, I sincerely hope that I explained this well enough to the point you can understand how to do it, so I can see all your crazy concepts. Please share this video around to further expand the Smash Ultimate metagame, and please let me know what you think. As a note to end on, this technique could absolutely obliterate Rob if you get his gyro and are able to do this perfectly. Every matchup could potentially play out like Villager pocketing our gyro and could make our lives hell on earth. A beautifully scary future to look forward to.